According to the Ijo leaders, the promise by the acting president to establish modular refineries in the Niger Delta region is good, but must be followed by issuing out operational licenses to natives of the region. This is to create a sense of belonging to the world gotten from the region. The solution to the problem of the Niger Delta is for us to have a stick in the oil and gas resources that are produced in our environment. Licenses should be given to the people of the Niger Delta. These licenses must not go out from the people of the Niger Delta. From what I've gathered is that they've issued over 57 licenses, none to an indigenous of the Niger Delta. This is unacceptable. This is the same false foundation that this country is built on. If our environment is good to build a refinery, so we don't have capacity to own a refinery. It's a kind of uh, kangaroo arrangement that they are putting in place to further extort the, the, the impoverished people of the Niger Delta. They emphasize on the purpose of the pronunciation of modular refineries, which is to harness the potentials of illegal refining of crude oil by Ujoy youths in the swamps of the Niger Delta. The situation for modular refinery came up as a result of the improvised method of our people to refine crude. The purpose was to say, let us see how we can remove these people from illegal refining process and bring in a modular refinery for them to key into a process of doing it legally. And in that concept, you are bringing it to remove people from an illegal process, then you are making it very cumbersome, and the people from the area cannot be even part of that process, then what is the essence? The idea of modular refinery is to boost the local economy and make oil and other related, uh, this is oil and other related facilities uh, available to our people. According to them, the control of part of the world from the Niger Delta by the indigenous stands to end most agitations in the oil-rich region. Kosipre Charles, AIT News, Yenegoa.